Capcom here. But right now, we're going to watch some greats potentially here in the future. We got Captain Ooh. Crust versus Game Knight. Game Knight played some Guilty Gear earlier. Definitely seemed like a newer-ish player. But here with Greninja, definitely a big fan of pressing that big green button. Going to be using the dash attack to try and establish a 50-50 game. But Falco, also really good. What is that tag, bro? That's I mean as hell. I just saw that. <laughs> Uh, I believe that... I'm assuming Game Night is the one tag GN, so that is going to be... Mm. Yes, uh, educated Good. guesses. <laughs> There we go. Here's the whole layout. So right okay. now, up throw, getting so, like trying to look for combo game. You want to establish the Greninja, you can't just run up on me for free. Yeah, none of that. But with these characters, they're both very vertical. You mm -hmm. know, the, I mean, Greninja does have side-to-side -side movement, but he loves coming at you from above. Same thing with Falco. Falco has like one of the best double jumps in the game in terms of height Greninja and with too. his fast fall speed. Yeah, we might just see kind of like a game of Tetris almost. This, this just is stopping whole, on each other. This is an application to Delta Airlines to get frequent flyer miles. Everybody's trying to travel the distance. Unfortunately, mm. the wrong landing and all <laughs> that is a this man just flight. dropped their hands off my what so Agarni up till into Nair drag down doesn't get a tech in place but you see Captain Crush realizing you know I re I see you don't have the best defensive options right now so let me just go ahead and wait for you to land and I'll punish you afterwards just like that oh man yeah and he's recognizing oh, all of these panic options he just stops right in front of him he's like I'm gonna wait for you to hit a button because I'm 99% sure you're going to hit a button Absolutely. Oh, I like you can see Game Night struggling a little bit to get back on and just running up, trying to find an air to air option out of Captain Crush. But Captain Crush has just been staying grounded, letting a Game Night come to him and just get big punishes. There's been a lot of spot dodges from Game Night too. That's why we're starting to see uh, Captain Crush look for a downer read on a spot dodge. Oh, okay. I like this though. Managing to get into his face a little bit more reliably. Oh, but as I say, that push to the ledge and that forward at the side of the stage is definitely enough to take it. Right now, Captain Cross is looking absolutely dominant in this game. So and slowing it down, too. I like that. You're ahead. Why risk running into the Greninja oh, when yeah. that can happen to you yeah, if you do? Exactly. <laughs> running right into Forest Smash. Also, shout out to chat for coming through with the knowledge. Thank you very much. So, Captain Crust, a New Hampshire Falco. Uh, New Hampshire population of five. So, you know, obviously, definitely on his state's PR. But they, had to, they had to put dead people on the PR in order to fill yes, out all the yes. lists. I love, best, I love best with Vermont and New Hampshire because they're actually they're great people. It's just uh, the scenes are that you don't, we only get to really see them when regionals happen. So, it's great to see Captain Crust coming out. Out here to show everybody why is Falco looking kind of nice as it continuously just bodying game uh, game that right now who hasn't really been able to find that big opening mostly because these lasers just kind of been in the way yeah at the same time hasn't taken that much damage you know it feels like perhaps the pace of the match slowing down has worked out in his favor because as I say that finally gets hit by the one Falco move that leads to the seven Falco mm -hmm. moves as he's <laughs> taken at 77 oh man oh, he's man. dead oh my I was I was commenting how it's like oh look at this he only took 27 percent over the past 30 seconds. Salty, you already know. It is the, it's the Falco Cinematic Universe, man. The moment things get going, the episodes may be the same, but we watch it regardless because we're forced to. And, and we are, I mean, we got Tilde in the building, right? Captain Crust out here getting the drag down. Sue finds it. You get grabbed. I'm going to snatch you up. And that's a DI check, baby. Goodbye off the top. Game night getting three stocked off the rip. Like I said, definitely seems like a newer player. But one of the things I'd like to see out of game night, as uh, I, anytime I see someone like this, I want to see improvement. So not establishing good shield pressure with short hop. That started to work a little bit later, but it seemed like Captain Crush was perfectly content to hold shield because he wasn't really getting punished a lot on grab. You have to make Captain Crush fear that, and that way you can bait out mortal spot dodges you're looking for later with those down tilts. All right, we're moving into game two here. Giving a bit of a head roll, really sort of loosen up your, uh, your... Oh, okay, we're actually having a character switch. And you were saying how, oh, you know, he was more co than comfortable shielding. Mm -hmm. Mario is a character where it is a lot more straightforward in terms of what is your opponent, like, what to do if your opponent is shielding. Yeah. The answer is grab him with Mario Grab, because that is one of his best combo starters and just an amazing tool overall. And I think Ooh. right out of the gate, you Ooh. want an improvement? Ooh. I'm seeing an improvement Ooh, right okay. here. All right, it had, it tried to go for a jab lock right there, too, so it seems like Game Knight feeling a much more comfortable here with the Mario. Does get Drag down fair though, that's gonna be a whole lot of damage. Now you gotta watch your jump from ledge because he's definitely looking for it. I, yeah, exactly. Uh, covering both roll and potential aggressive jump on. Now being put in disadvantage. Let's see what he does about this ledge trap as he catches him once again with the jump on on the fair. Oh, yeah, and this is. Oh, with the down air right off the stage. It was looking so good for game night at the beginning of this year, but your mom. <laughs> 
Sorry. Captain Crust. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's on him. He made his tag that. I, it was inevitable that I was going to mess is, it up. Your mom is up 1-0 on the set right now, bro. <laughs> up Smash is going to catch him. <laughs> oh, my God. Up Smash is going to catch him with the anti-air. But Game Knight really needs to get, uh, like, get in and... Just force Captain Crust to stop jumping in with these short hop fears so much. We haven't really seen an answer to it. Maybe some short hop fears yourself. Run up, put those out. It's relatively safe on shield. You can bait out up, uh, up tilts and get data on how Captain Crust wants to play. But that's a back air. Not going to kill yet, but a drag down fair probably. Oh, actually, just yeah. trying to find Ooh, a down air. That was a really good up air to get out of that situation. Honestly, I feel like what's breaking for Game Night right now is being trapped at the ledge here. All right, an aggressive option gets him off. Let's see if he finally has a bit of stage control, which he hasn't had for quite some time. Can he do anything with it? No, a little bit too hungry right there. You have to know what options your opponent is has that are actually punishable. I'm very glad you said that too, because in that position, it's very easy to recognize when somebody is like seeing red and they see your percent that high. Back air out of shield is going to be a common option. Anti airs it with the up smash. And now here, 54%. Trying to use the fireball to find a way back down to the ground, but hasn't really been able to find that safe landing. Even though we're starting to see a couple of hits here, still misses, doesn't capitalize on an up smash, and that's going to be, uh, once again, another stock knock on. Finally finds one right there, though. Yeah, okay, that's a really good pickup. This is still a dire situation if you are game night. And oh no, this is what happened game one. I mm -hmm. remember this. That was okay. really good too, because he decided to go for the fair to mix him up on DI, because last time he went up, it's like, okay, maybe I DI out here. But now, tries to find a downer, gets ah. pushed away. Might have been body blocked a little bit there too, but either way though, that yeah. is game night going down 2-0. Well. Hopefully we see some fixes in the future. I'd like to see more from this guy coming out. I know, yeah. It's If you're a newer player, it can be quite a shock to your system if like you wind up on stream at a mm -hmm. regional like this. But nonetheless, you got to play against a really solid player. Yes. Captain Cross, I had never heard of him before, but it's so awesome that he's coming in from way out of region to possibly take some names here. I mean, we have... Oh, jeez. I'm yeah. sorry. I just had to see that again, and it was... Just, cap just closing out the stocks consistently. Captain Crest looking very good, and that's how we were talking about before, how they were both swinging a bunch. He knew that back air was coming, and if he does go for up smash and whiffs, you're still up a stock, so there's not really a point to not go for that, right? You always, you put that out there just to make sure you control the air, as he saw there, and it did incredible. Okay, I, for a second I thought he was going to try and double dip with down air when mm -hmm. he was already dead, but the man had a little bit of respect for his opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, he had a small bit of respect. Falco players, they, 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 they live in, and breathe the idea of styling well, on you. So it's, that's it's, the it's thing. Like, it's the fact respect. that he did not try and just kill him while he was already dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just like, that's like, I, I understand, sir. I respect the, mm -hmm. the strife that you've had to endure in this game. Yeah, 